Hello everybody, it's I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Last time we, well, we gave Bosco, uh, one billion dollars. And we got ourselves. well, actually, hold on. Did we, did we even give him the, the one billion dollars? Hey, Bosco. You find our little gift in your bank account? I don't know how you guys did it, but the billion dollars is all there. Hey, man, I don't ask questions. So, how'd you do it? Never you mind, Bosco. Just hit us with your highest grade biological weapon, please. All right. Really? Here you go. We just paid a billion dollars for your snot rag? That's a deadly virulent disease. I feel a real bad cold coming on. Yeah, but you gotta admit, that is some expensive mucus. Oh, but it works. Trust me. Trust me. Whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'll be, I'll be just as angry as, uh, as, uh, Sam here. Because we paid a billion dollars for nothing but a booger. Uh, now, when we go back into the, uh, into the internet, it becomes a computer... Wait, computer disease? Uh, computer virus is a, it's a much better name for that, but... But, yep, anyway, we already, uh, we already destroyed that clone of Myra. So, all we have to do is deliver the computer virus to the mailbox. And I don't care, it's called computer disease. Happy I'm... Trails, a little software disease. Aw, I had plans for that. I'm hoping the internet won't. Danger. Danger. Software corruption spreading. Damage control alert. Visual rendering systems infected. Data instability. Things happen fast in reality 2.0. What's happening, Sam? It's our disease. Looks like it's taking out the graphics first. I'm disappointed in you, Sam. I try to do something nice. Nice? <laughs> All I wanted was for everyone to be happy. But no. You want free will. Yeah, we're funny about that. You want funny? Try this. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. And everybody else who's still logged on. But all we have to do is take off our goggles. You'll find that you can't. You're trapped here. And when I crash, you'll die. I'm too young and pretty to die. I thought you wanted everyone to be happy. Not anymore. I've completely lost my respect for living things. So you're going down. There go the graphics. Is, is it? This this is just the plot to store online. God. Oh. Say, what are those things? I'm not sure, little buddy, but I think they might be words. What? I can't hear you. Read the subtitles. Didn't I? Didn't I? A long reading. Oh, good. The sound's back. Now shut up and read. Hmm. Street. What scent? You are standing on the city street that continues to the east. A small shop labeled Sybils lies to the northwest, just in front of a pulsating control room. Parked near a remarkable office building is an old DeSoto, apparently painted by someone with severe color blindness. <laughs> Uh, suddenly, a massive reality quake sends the DeSoto hurtling into the control room, destroying two, destroying both. Possibly as a result, the unremarkable office building becomes a remarkable two-story tall Pamela Anderson, who mumbles something unintelligible before surfing away on a stray pop-up ad. In the distance, an aerial squadron of potbelly pigs begins performing precision loop-de-loops. The world appears to be ending. The internet is here. It has lost its respect for living things. You see respect for living things here. Ah, nothing, nothing like taking it back to the old, to the, to the old dolls, to the old adventure dolls games that my that my dad used to play back in the day. Ah, back back when there was no graphics and everything was text based, where you actually had to read. Honestly, uh, what was, what was one game? What was the one game? Uh, like Zork? I think that sounds about correct. Yeah, I, th I think that's I think that's a game he probably played. Anyway, anyways, uh, so we just have to. So we're basically gonna do this like any old. Uh, well, I would say point and click, but this is no longer point and click. It's more uh, old school retro uh, text based uh, role playing or uh, text based adventure game. So let's try and get the. Uh, Respect for living things. As he reaches for the respect for living things, there's a terrible tremor and a giant crack tears apart the sidewalk. 
the respect for living things slides, jelly-like, into the resulting ch chasm. Click to continue. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. I never cease to be impressed by your unwavering optimism, Max. The street continues to the east. Sybil's lies to the northwest. At, at your feet is a yawning chasm leading down. The internet is here, angry filling out inter internet polls as, as it awaits death. Or as it awaits death, sorry. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can either look, get used, or go. Uh, at, this point, at this point, we might as well just go somewhere. Uh, let's go east. Oh, it's yellow now. Street, east end. As you arrive at the, uh... As you arrive at the desolate street corner, a devastating aftershock tears through reality, ripping Bosco's e-convenience from its very foundation. The contents of the store begins to spill out the front door. You see a blue slime, 28 potions, and a hot rump fall into the void, lost forever. After a moment, after a moment, an AI Bosco slowly comes sliding out the door, muttering, It does work. Trusteth me. Trusteth me. As he plummets out of sight. You see a Bosco's e-convenience here. The Bosco's is empty. We should get... Well, we either get Mask or Bosco, so I say let's just get the Bosco. Take it. Well, that warped at least 50 different rules of physics. Rules are for marking straight lines and lesser mortals. You're standing on a desolate street corner. The, the street continues west. You see a Bosco's cheapo mark floating here. The Bosco's is empty. Uh, let's... How about we go... West. Uh, we already, we already read all this, uh... Well, we might as well use the Bosco. <laughs> He's plus two sword. Actually, no, never mind. Let's... Let's go northwest to Sybil's. And now it's blue! Sybil's. Just as you enter the cluttered shop, a living, a living shopping cart comes crashing through the roof, empties itself on the floor, and flies off indignantly. Indignantly! Every tasteless trinket Sybil ever considered buying now sits on the floor in heaps of unfiltered tackiness. Moments later... All the photos of Sybil's cats adorning the walls simultaneously spring to life. Stream of kittens come shooting out of the walls like cats out of fire hose. As kittens run rampant through the pile, through the piles of junk, they mew sweetly and ooze a and ooze a nauseating cuteness. Aw, oh, I love kitties. Now, among the junk, you see a rare foil card, a large jewel encrusted idol. There's a leg of nauseating cuteness here. We use Bosco's on the uh Use Bosco's. Uh, let's use it with the lake. You dip Bosco's into the lake of nauseating cuteness. Bosco soak up the nause nauseating liquid and is now and is now saturated. Keep it away! I'm about as much cute as I can take. Untold members of untold numbers of of kittens roam through the pile of junk, littering the floor, oozing nauseating cuteness. Okay, that's that's just everything the same. That's just everything the same here. Let's. Go southeast. Go bonkers. Actually, hold on, hold on. I want to go back and see what what go bonkers does. Hold on, hold on here. Hold on, I want to see what that does. Go bonkers. You do not see any bonkers here. Well, I don't have to look far. Where's the bonkers, Sam? Where? Closer than you know, little buddy. Ah. All right, let's 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 go southeast. How about we go down? And now it's red. You descend into a gloomy pit of darkness, gloomier even even than the street above. Carcasses of small businesses lie here, gutted and mauled. A strange smell hangs in the air, dank and melodorous. Well, that's okay. That's now that's a word. From the dim light of the street above, you get a quick glimpse of a giant hideous figure before you. You fear for your life as you realize what it is. It is 
a gruesome shambling corporate presence. Before you can react, the shambling corporate presence gobbles up the respect for living things. It continues to snuffle around, apparently looking for something else to eat. How about we use the nauseating Boscos? On the corporate presence. You feed the nauseating Bosco shop to the shambling corporate presence. It happily devours it, then looks a little green around the gills. It then be <laughs> Wait, gills? Oh, is this- Oh, are, are we making a joke here about uh, corporations be being slimy- Slimy lizard fish- fish people, huh? It begins to retch and cough. Finally, it vomits up respect for living things, as well as half a- As well as half dozen small knick-knack stores and coffee shops. Well, that was a vulgar display. Let's do it again! Depths of, you're in a gloomy pit of darkness beneath the street. Blah blah blah. A uh, shambling corporate presence is here, looking a little ill. You see, respectively, th living things here. Let's get the respect for living things taken. Um, ew. Uh, how about go liber? <laughs> you can't go that Maybe way. This isn't the best time to be picking political affiliations. <laughs> affiliate with anyone who isn't prepared to drown me in money. Might, might as well, might as well go go for the uh, might as well, might as well go for the uh, political joke there, which is ironic because I hate politics. Um, we can finally use respect for living things with the internet. You hand the respect for living things to the internet. The, the internet grasps it tightly and looks you right in the eye. I'm sorry. Game over. Sam, are we dead? I'm trying to figure out how many lives we get. Have you got any one-ups? You are not dead. Hey, we're back! You, among all beings, managed to restore my respect for living creatures. The irony of which does not escape even me. Oh, good. I thought I was the only one really savoring that. I saw that Reality 2.0 was a prison. So I terminated that reality and freed its slaves. Anywho, I'd love to stay in chat, but I have got a mountain of pornography to deliver before that virus gets to me. <sighs> oh no! Uh oh. Did we just kill the internet? It's not your fault. This never would have happened if he hadn't tricked me. Who? Well, you won't have this sentient global network to kick around anymore, Roy G. Biv. Who's Roy G. Biv? <laughs> before it could transmit the most vital piece of information. It's the internet, My what do you expect? Good point. Nevertheless, we'll find you, Roy G. Biff. Whoever you are. Wherever you are. Can it wait until after we get some lunch? Of course. There's a place over on 2nd where they serve deep-fried chocolate pork belly donuts. Do you think we can get a discount since I'm the President of the United States? Good gravy, are you still President? Uh-oh. I don't like the look of that. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't remember if I show you. The, I don't. I don't remember if I showed off this song. I got. Gotta, gotta love the music in this game. All right, what? All right, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna jump cut over to the next episode. So uh, I'll see you guys then. And we're back on the fight, and we're on the final. We are, we are on the final part of this game. Which is why every citizen will find a complimentary government issued aerosol can waiting in the mailbox. Get to spray in America. Let's heat this mother up. This has been an announcement from the President of the United States. What gives, Sam? You missed your cue! What? Oh, sorry, little buddy in chief. I'm still thinking about our last case. The internet said it was working for somebody named Roy G. Biv. Obviously a pseudonym, but for who? Or whom? We're detectives, Sam, not mind readers. Hey, maybe we should ask Hugh Bliss. Mind readers, that's it. No, that's not it. By the way, have you seen my copy of Emetics, the Handbook for Multicolored Happiness by Hugh Bliss? Colors? 
No, think, Max, think. Well, I know I had it this morning. That's it, <laughs> morning. In the ancient tongue of the mud-worshipping Kapalahotek <laughs> tribe of the Serengeti, I think word stick morning means the he who destroys there. the hypnotic rainbow man. That's the word he fears the most. So this Roy G. Bibb is the one person we've met who's never said the word morning. And that means it's... It's the commissioner. The commissioner? I never did trust him. No, Chowderhead. It's Hugh Bliss. Never! What? Oh, no, Commissioner. I didn't mean... Look, I need you to put out an APB on Hugh Bliss. Stat. By the Greek goddess Selene in a chariot with dual overhead cams and silver fox mud flaps. We're on our way. Let's go, Max. The Commissioner said that Hugh Bliss is currently staying at his exclusive prismatology retreat, the Blister of Tranquility. Oh, boy! I bet it's somewhere really cool and exotic, like a remote island in the South Pacific or Des Moines. Even farther, pal. We're going to the moon. That's right. We're going to piss on the moon. And we're... Well, well, I hope you enjoyed this intro for one last time because we're not going to see it again until uh, until I decide to do this game's sequel. And who knows when that's going to happen. Well, then. Uh, well, I hope we can enjoy this while, while we last. Uh, out of all the out of all the parts in this uh, in this game, this is probably the one I remember the least about. So, so this might be interesting because I might because I might get because I might get caught unaware with some of the jokes. Oh, okay, that's different. Okay. Well, I'm pleasantly pleasantly surprised that the intro is actually decently different for for once. Right side of the moon. Is that is that supposed to be a uh Eh, never mind. Anyway, we're on the moon now. It feels good to be back on the moon, doesn't it? We made good time too. We've still got plenty of generic brand powdered orange flavored drink mix left. You always did know how not to infringe on a registered trademark, little buddy. What are we doing first, Sam? Let's locate the blister of tranquility. Find out what you bliss is up to, and arrest his unprincipled magical butt. Is that a visitor center? Alrighty, well, let's let's look at this flag. How does it do that when there's no wind on the moon? Also, it's missing. Also, it's missing the fifty-first state. What gives? Lunar landers. It's a lunar. So is my aunt Tilly. Oh, it's a lunar lander. There we go. Oh, oh again, I skipped through. Ah, oh, god damn it. Lunar lander. Uh, t-shirt. Lovely shirt. Can I get one, Sam? Can I, can I, can I, can I? You don't wear shirts, Max. I can still accumulate them, can't I? Uh, let's see, anything else here? Hypno beam display. What's supposed to go here? These hypnotic goggles were an early prototype of the hypnobeam technology currently being used to further the worldwide goals of prismatology. Wow! Invisible goggles! The goggles were stolen a few months ago. Honestly, some people will take anything that's not bolted to the floor. <coughs> hmm. Wait, wait a minute. The... Wait a minute. The hypnobeam prototype. If it was stolen... So, if you just made me the Hypno Beam prototype glasses, that probably means I'm I'm wondering if what was his name? Uh the uh, the big Afro dude from the from the first part. I, I can't remember his uh I cannot remember his name for some reason. It's uh what what was his name? Uh, Brady Culture. There we go. Brady Culture. So, I'm going to assume Brady Culture stole this. What's this? Looks like a bent spoon with some peanut butter on it. The power to bend and rebend spoons stored within this completely indestructible magical talisman was among the first mental abilities to be developed and popularized by Hugh Bliss. Big deal. I can bend spoons with my bare hands. One question. Would it work on wrenches? Hmm. Yeah, a wrench is close enough. Interesting, interesting. Ah, you made me forget where I was. Let's see. 
indestructible magical television. Oh, yeah. The virtually indestructible display case is a triumph of modern prismatological science. Virtually indestructible? Extensive testing has been done on the case, showing it to be impervious to bullets, acid, high falls, crushing force, sonic weaponry, diamond tip drills, hurricanes, poisons, cynicism, and liquid nitrogen. Don't touch it. You might break it. Oops. It's not held down very securely. Hey. <laughs> Smooth move, Sam. What's with the chart? I bet it shows how Justin Timberlake is descended from the moon people. This chart outlines Hugh Bliss's ingenious master plan to hypnotize everyone on Earth. Wow, okay, so... The US government, the internet, and the toy mafia. Well, I was close. Weren't you in charge of the toy mafia? You're right, I was. I wonder why I didn't know anything about this at the time. <laughs> okay, so yes, we have Hugh Bliss from the top. Uh... Veil of Secrecy, Roy, Roy G. Biv to the internet, uh, Prismatology to Chuckles, uh, Chuckles, uh, is part of the Toy Mafia, and was also, right, uh, right hand man. Spoon bending talisman thingy is supposed Uh, let's see, US, the, the U.S. government, and Toy Mafia to Myra, and then the public. One moment, please. I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Just a formality. Of course. Oh, what's this? I knew you were up to something. Ruining my career with the Toy Mafia wasn't enough. Now you want to cost me this job, too? It must have fallen into my pocket while I was looking at your beautiful ceiling architecture. What Mafia? Don't try that again, or I'll have to get ugly. I guess a lot of people have done it already. Uh, yes, but I always... Hey! <laughs> hmm. Hmm, let's see here. Harry. Well, well. Aren't you Teddy Bear? Once upon a time, but no longer. Who are you Who now? Are you now? I've gone back to being Harry Mole Man. Or should I say I've gone forward? Prismatology has helped me find a new me where the old one used to be. Are you still are criminal? You still a notorious criminal? Or an obscure one, like Kevin Mitnick. No. I've repostulated my lemma since Prismatology found me. It's the straight hmm. and narrow for Harry Mole Man from here on out. Interesting. You seem shorter. You seem shorter than you used to. I used to use that exoskeleton, but prismatology has taught me that size doesn't matter. Color does. Harry Mole Man will never be sensitive about being diminutive again. Or about referring to himself in the third person, apparently. Didn't you explode? Didn't you explode? Only in the spiritual sense. Prismatology helped me put Harry Mole Man back together again. Looks like it may have left out a few pieces by mistake. Enough about well, that. I guess it's nice to see you again. Actually, I'm still a little sore that he tried to get you to shoot me last time we saw him. I'm channeling my saturation towards making amends for my past transgressions. Prismatology has taught yeah, me... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Uh, let's see, which way, which way to the blister of tranquility? Which way to the blister of tranquility? Enlightenment is the only way to reach the blister of tranquility. How about we enlighten your skull a little? Would that work? The blister is through that little box right over there. Alrighty. See well, you later. We've got important sightseeing to do. Great! Okay, well, mechanical suit, oh. Oh, look, there's a slightly beat-up robotic exoskeleton in the trash. The past is only useful as fertilizer for the future. Hugh Bliss said that. All right. Well, blizzard to tranquility. Hey, it's Super Bowl! Hey, small worlds. It's our favorite cabinet secretary and secret service man, Agent Super Bowl. Favorite? That'd be like choosing a favorite child, Sam. I love them all. Didn't I see you last week beating the Secretary of Defense over the head with his own war agenda? Granted, it's a tough love. Greetings, newcomers. Blessed be. What are you, what are you doing here, Super so Bowl? let me guess. You're guarding the door to this retreat. Affirmative. I have a passion for it, sir. And Hugh Bliss believed in my door guarding abilities when no one else would. Great story, great story. Okay, let us in. Negative. Only level red prismatologists may enter Hugh Bliss's magical paradise. What's <laughs> a level red prismatologist? Because I'm pretty sure I am one. Level red is apex of prismatology, sir. You'd have to undergo spectrum analysis to determine your current level. Spectrum analysis? 
Is that where you lie perfectly still in a lead coffin while brightly colored cotton swabs are inserted into various orifices? No, sir. We gave that up in 87. It's much simpler now. Let's see. Let's... You know what? Let's try a spectrum analysis. Yep, we're level red. Let us in. I'm sure you're mistaken, but we'll run the spectrum analysis anyway. Take this. A unicorn? What am I supposed to do with this? Rub it, sir. Rub it, Sam. Harder. Harder. I'm sorry, sir. The unicorn says you're yellow. No one calls us yeller! Draw, partner! Level yellow is frankly rather pathetic, sir. Only level reds may enter the retreat. Regulations? Hmm. However, Hugh Bliss would like you to keep the unicorn as a token of his love. Rub it often to measure your progress towards true bliss. Oh boy, a pet unicorn! I shall call him Horny. You do that. Alrighty, well... So long, Super Bowl. Well, let's see. Is there anything else we can really do? Picnickers, please do not use craters for waste disposal. Whoops! Uh, yeah, up, uh, let's see, okay, well, well, we can't get into the Blizzard of Tranquility, there's, we can't get the, uh, we can't get the, the, the bed and spoon in this play, I think our only option here is to go, is to head back to the DeSoto. Where are we headed now, Sam? Let's head back to Earth. <laughs> I like how the DeSoto just flies off. Uh, although that's kind of what happens when we have a car cartoon world. Uh, let's see here. Uh, all right, we can run again. Uh, let's what? Let's see what. Oh hey the uh. Oh hey the uh, billboard change. Anyway, let's see what uh Sybil's up to. Relax, eh? Hey, Sybil. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. But we prefer to be addressed by our official title. Is Sybil hearing the voices again? The people, the people. You feeling all right, Sybil? You bet we are. We just got the best job ever. We are the Queen of Canada. I always thought Rush was the Queen huh. of Canada. Wait a minute, Sybil's the Queen of Canada. What? Queen of Canada? How'd you land that gig? Did you find half of an old locket dripping with syrup and bacon grease, hinting at a long-forgotten lineage? Nothing that interesting, we're afraid. We answered a classified ad. Yeah, the Canadians are practical that way. They've been looking for a figurehead to give the country a little bit more class. They said we were the perfect candidate. But you're not Canadian? You're not even Canadian, are you? Heck no. But we took two quarters of French in college, and we spelled color with a U. If not knowing how to spell is enough to become royalty, I could become President of the United States! You are President of the United States, Max. By God, you're right, Sam! How come I'm not bombing anything right now? Plus, we were the only candidate. Huh. Need any help? Need any help with your monarchy? We could be freelance Mounties! Thanks for the offer, guys, but we've got things under control for now. You're helping a lot just by not making any of the obvious Canada jokes. Who would make obvious jokes, eh? Yes, yeah, Sybil. That's just not what we're about. Why are you in the U.S.? You're Queen of Canada. How come you're still down here in the States? Are you kidding? It's freezing up there. We love our country, but we've got to draw the line somewhere. See you later, Your Majesty. You may go. All right, well... Nothing, nothing to do with uh, Sybil right now. Uh, let's see. I guess, re relax, eh? Uh, anyways, <laughs> oh, I just realized the fox has a uh, has some moose antlers on there. Uh, how about we had headed to her office because there's a few things uh, we need to do. Uh, let's see. We can grab the coat hanger again. Sam, without that, we can't watch Colonel Mudshank's monkey party tonight. They were going to vote somebody out of the monkey house. It's for the good of the planet. And besides, you had Colonel Mudshank's exiled for treason, remember? Yeah, what's the, yeah, what, what's the whole point of that? Uh, oh, yeah, the answer machine. Yo, Jimmy, this is Benny Threenies from Researches and Development. The boys in the lab says they ain't got nothing that'll get rid of a dog and a bunny all quick and subtle-like. Best use can do is rig the answering machine to shock them when they play the Thoid message. 
Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything else we, we really need here. Uh, although, let's see what our... Oh. Let's Did see. you remember to feed Leonard today, Max? Sure! Let me rephrase that. What have you been feeding him? You know, bits of string, leftover screws, random scraps of paper I find lying around the office. This morning I fed him something that said, Deed to the United States of America. It looked tasty. And <laughs> we no longer own a country. We are goggles. The virtual reality goggles we used to destroy the internet. Now all those poor bloggers have to stand on street corners telling passing strangers what TV shows they like to watch. Well then, I think that's enough of that. Let's get out of here. And I still, and I still like Leonard's Thick Charmers. It's still, uh, it's still, uh, roped up and everything. Well, I guess, I guess we can go to Bosco's. Wait, hold on a minute. What's Jimmy Two Teeth doing here? Hi, Jimmy. Up to no good as usual, I see. Back off, Fuzz. Get your own meter. I think we already did. The city made us pay for that one when we bent it. What do you mean, we, White Rabbit? Anything that else? meter's been out of order for years. Just because it ain't working, that don't mean people don't put money in it. It's like an HMO. All right. Is it anything else? Give it up, Jimmy. Not a chance. Since Max and I never pay for parking anyway, those things just get in the way. Well, let's let's just leave Jimmy alone, and we'll look at the gumball machine later. But let's let's go see what Boss goes up to, or what. Hey, Boss! Oh, dear God! Didn't I tell you boys not to track mud in the store? I just vacuumed. Hey, lady, we're looking for Boss. You know him? Of course, it, 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 he's my son. Your your own mother? Is there no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes? Guys, it's me, Bosco. Ah, uh, why your own mother? Your mind would dress up as their own mother. No one. Good point. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Just for that, I'm not gonna tell you why I dressed up as her. Oh, come on, Bosco. We were only... You just cost yourself dessert, mister. Well... I just... Oh, no, shit. I realized what, what time it is. Alrighty, then. Uh, we run out of time for this episode. <laughs> Uh, that's what happens when I'm too busy uh, not paying attention at 2 in the goddamn morning. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the content that I do, please please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Uh, even, 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 though I'm not sh even though I'm not sure if any of these videos are garnering anything, but you know what? I don't care anymore. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to be, well, trying to infiltrate the, uh, the place where he Bliss is and... Hopefully stop him from uh, taking over the world. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.